Oh good, you're finally awake. Oh fuck! Irene from Red Velvet? Indeed, it is I, Irene of Red Velvet's cardboard cutout. Oh. Okay, uh... What happened? You were in an accident. I'm afraid it's been... four months. Oh my god. My viewers must be so disappointed. No, not really. Your viewer base isn't particularly large, especially compared to the likes of me, Irene of Red Velvet. Your presence, or lack thereof, can be easily filled by innumerable others in the sea of entertainment. In fact, unless something particularly life-changing or important has happened, it's probably better to just start uploading more consistently rather than do unnecessary updates. It reeks of self-importance and excuses. Yeah, I guess that's true. Well, let's go read some comments. Hey everybody, it's me again. Back to business. Hopefully it stays that way. Mostly so this guy will stop messaging me. Yeah. I noticed a lot of YouTubers putting something in their background to give their scenery a bit more oomph. So here's my most prized possession. It's a giant stained clownfish I won at a carnival over a decade ago. Anyway, we got a bunch more subs and comments, so uh, on to the meat of things. I did not know what to put for footage, so here's some random shots I took. He moves his mouth like how NPCs talk. I figured it was a matter of time before I had to formally address this. But, um, I like to poke fun at it, but the truth is, um, when I was younger, I got into an accident that left my face partially paralyzed. And, uh, there's no such convenient explanation for why I look and talk like this. Um, the truth is that this is just how I am, even after doing stretches and warm-ups, so... I don't know, I, some people just look kind of dumb, what can I say? Interestingly enough, off-camera, um, after discovering this affliction of mine and reading a lot of suggestions in the comments, I wanted to see just how little mouth movement I needed in order to talk, and... It turns out... Way less than I could have ever imagined. Um... Anyway, here's me reading a short passage. Uh, keep in mind that this is not dubbed over in post or anything. I, I swear. Oh shit. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Our daddy taught us not to be ashamed of our dicks. Especially since they're such good size and all. Yeah, I can see that. Your daddy gave you good advice. It gets bigger when I pull on it. Mmm. Sometimes? I pull on it so hard, I rip the skin. Well, my daddy taught me a few things too. Like how not to rip the skin by using someone else's mouth instead of your own hand. Will you show me? <laughs> I'll be right happy to. The good news is, the payoff to acquiring this new skill of mine means that you will never be able to tell when I've actually inserted ADR, which is really convenient for editing. Honestly, I just subbed to you because of the passion and professionalism displayed here. And then you should not watch the rest of my videos. <laughs> Including this one. I have been compared to a lot of people like Yang Ye and Christopher Tom and have been called things like a weaker jawed Markiplier or an Asian Chris Ray gun. Now, I suspect that these comparisons are all superficial because the only thing I have in common with any of these people is my distinctly Asian disposition and glasses. Because otherwise, uh, I have absolutely zero regard for things like pride, dignity, quality, integrity, or even consistent scheduling, as many of you have already realized. Um, money, though, that is probably a shared interest among all of us, so th there is that. Your slow zoom while I try to talk slow and dramatically is so fucking cliche. Also, stop pausing and looking off into the distance so often. It's cringe. So this was an easy setup for me to just employ this exact technique you've described as a quick gag, but I want you to know that I respect your opinion as a viewer and didn't want to devalue your statement or discourage these types of comments by going for the low hanging fruit. This time. A lot of people actually made very similar criticisms about the technical aspects of my editing, which is incredibly valuable information, because not too many people go out of their way to comment like this unless it's on something of great annoyance, and considering how many comments there are, 
it tells me that this is definitely something I should keep an eye out for. So to Daddy and others like Daddy, I wanted you to know that your voices have been heard and I'll try to be more mindful with my editing. In the case of pausing and looking off screen though, this is actually normal body language, which just gives the impression the speaker is contemplating their words. In narratives that are meant to evoke emotion, this is considered more effective than, say, maintaining unbroken eye contact for an entire minute. The cringe is par for the course of this channel though. And to the many, many people who expressed your thanks to me for the super best friend send off, I want you to know that I was as overwhelmed by your words as you were over the words I stole from Draw It Ralph. And um, to the many of those of you who also cried for sharing in on this experience, uh, I just wanted to say, That's pathetic. You had your personality molded by your environment? That's pathetic. Pathetic. You got sentimental over the loss of something that was a consistent part of your life? <laughs> now that's pathetic. Pathetic. <laughs> Imagine being deeply affected by things you've been exposed to in length. <laughs> what a loser. Now that's pathetic. What a stupid comment. I'm actually sort of impressed at how concisely you've managed to express this level of stupidity. That's not to say that you're stupid, but man, that was a really dumb thing you wrote. Speaking of stupid things people wrote, look at this slut, just giving hearts to everyone, shaking my head. Okay. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Tony! Oh, uh, shut up! Older you get, harder it is to make new friends. So cherish your friendships, people. Hey Tony. I just wanted to let you know that there's not enough time in life to say how you really feel and appreciate the things you care about. So I just wanted to say, please fuck off. The sooner you get out of my life, the more time I have to spend on literally anything else. So as it turns out, despite my hopes, um, there is still a lot of speculation occurring with the former super best friends, mostly surrounding their internal problems. All according to plan. <laughs> <laughs> In all seriousness, with how large and dedicated their community is, this was all but assured to happen. And the expectation that people wouldn't stir things up is admittedly a bit unrealistic, especially considering certain events that took place almost immediately after the breakup. So while I don't share the sentiment, I can at least understand and sort of respect the enthusiasm. Because it's just another testament to the impact they've left in people's lives that fans are still so invested, even after such a definitive end. Oh, that's a terrible ending. Holy fuck. <laughs> that's a that's a fucking terrible ending. <sighs> Super best friends. Oh. Uh, 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 Moving on. I want to come on your forehead. Thanks, that's um very flattering of you to say. You make very good points that I agree with, but it's hard to listen to someone who in an attempt to make those points simultaneously uses the word retarded. It's so easy not to use. This is a fair point. I can definitely understand why using the word retarded might undercut my arguments. The good news is that I've already filtered the more crass gamer words like and out of my vocabulary, with retard pretty much being the last one on its way out. I don't particularly mind parting ways with it either, so there you go. I hope it's easier for you to enjoy my content now. Oh, your avatar is yellow because you're Asian. It's so easy not to use. Perhaps I spoke too soon, um, but that's all the time we got for today. For those of you who were wondering where I've been, the answer is unfortunately very boring. Fuck! Thankfully, it appears things have tied it over and I can get back to making more of these. I really can't overstate how much I love making these videos and all of you out there for watching them. But as always, don't be afraid to leave a question or comment. I love to see your responses. You know where to find me. And I will see you guys next time. Which might be sooner than you think.
Boingus, Boingus, and uh, Doingus.